in the Holy Ghost. You need to pray in the Holy Ghost. Because that's where you're going to get the answers. You need to pray in the Holy Ghost. You need to build up your spirit. You need to pray in the Holy Ghost every single day. So many Christians are so busy about the things in this world and they forget about God. Let me tell you something, folks. Like I said on the other tape, this could be your last day on earth. Matthew 6, 33 is, says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be added unto you. There are Christians going around seeking things. Let me tell you something. You came in this world with nothing. Bless God, that's the day you're going to go out. Because whatever you have, it all comes from the Father and it all belongs to him. God has not given you power to get wealth to establish your covenant. Write this down. Deuteronomy 8, 18, he said, I have given you power to get wealth to establish my covenant. I see Christians, there, some of them, like I said before, they are mean as a junkyard dog. All they care is about themselves. Let me tell you something. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. You could have knowledge of the word of God. Knowledge of the word of God does not guarantee your success. Obedience guarantees you the success. Obedient to the word of God. Not just knowledge by itself. Yes, you need knowledge, but that's not going to guarantee your success. Obedience to the word of God will do it. As I gave you a previous scripture before, in Isaiah 119, he said, if you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Some people say, well, I've heard it. No, you really didn't hear it. You thought you heard it. Let me tell you something. It pays to obey the Lord. It pays to obey the Lord. I mean, you got people in the church that still have one foot in the world and one foot in the church. You're playing with fire. You're playing with fire because everybody is not going up in a rapture. Don't think this because you go to church. Don't think this because you sing on the choir. Don't think this because you stand behind the pulpit. That that's No, you have to live a holy life. He said, be ye holy for I am holy. So if God tell me that I can be holy, then I can be holy. Let me tell you something. We make choices every day. Our choices should be upon the word of God. What God has to say. That's what we should be doing. What he tell us to do. Jesus and you can't be on, in, on your heart. It's either Jesus is on the throne of your heart or you are there. It's one or the other. You can't have two in the driver's seat. I, like I said before, I need to be broken. I want to be broken. I'm in the boat just like anybody else. But this one thing I do know. I will continue to seek the Lord with all of my heart. This is one thing I do know. I would bless him with my last breath because God has been good to me. I'm going to tell you something like that. God has no respect of persons. The only thing that hurts God more than anything in the world is not to be believed. God's greatest pressure is that when you do believe him, you hurt God when you don't believe him. So many Christians, like I said before, they talk the problem. Don't talk the problem. Talk the promise. Because his promises is a yea and amen. They talk about this is going bad. And they're going to have what they say. Whatever seeds that you are sowing right now, you're going to get a harvest from it. If you sow seeds of strife, guess what? They're coming back to you. Whatever seed you sow, that's what's going to come back to you. Many times, people just say things and say things and say things that are contrary to the word of God, and that's what they reap. That's why in the church today, there's many that are broke, busted, and disgusted. Because you know something? They're God robbers. And they say, God, but God ain't blessing them. Because when God blesses, he had no sorrow. He added no sorrow. We are to be a blessing. You read the book of Acts. Jesus said it's more blessed to give than to receive. How can you give somebody something you don't have? How can you? You can't give something you don't have. Let me tell you something. God will meet Every one of your needs and that above, if you obey him, the children of Israel, he gave them houses. He gave them land. He gave them houses full of good people that they didn't even have to go to work one hour for. This is the God I serve. I don't believe in having baked sales and chicken sales and wrath. I don't believe in that. That's a poor God to me. God, let me tell you something. You'll never pay off your house selling soda cans. Okay? God is not going to do it that way. I serve a supernatural God. God could have it so it could have your debts canceled, your mortgage paid off. I don't know how he does it, but I believe him. He said all things are possible to him that believe. When you come to somebody's house 
and you sit on the sofa, you don't say, well, I, yeah, well, I better wait a minute. I wonder if this sofa's going to hold.